What's good, y'all? Check out. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, again. It's Popman, coolest in the game. You did rise with freeze. Doing a real special episode. It's probably one of my first guests. I don't know personally that I met through a connection for real. So. Everybody meet Shawty Bowman. What's up? What's Pleasure up? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I had some some small difficulties this morning, man. I got banned from Facebook yesterday. <laughs> I posted these pictures of Lizzo, and she wasn't even butt naked. It, you know, it was just it was a vibe. You know what I mean? And then they hit me with the bang, and then I tried to uh, appeal it, and they banned me for four more days. So I didn't even know you get banned for stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> like I think it's niggas ratting and you know reporting me. You know what I mean? I, they don't have no button. Or anything where you can like put in detail yeah. about why you feel like they should they just have you request a review, and it's trash because they not really understanding that I'm not meaning no harm or right. putting just out anything sexually Came explicit. So it's whatever you know. what I'm saying catch me on the gram, coolest in the game anyway with a K not a C. But we here for Sade. How are you today? How are you good. Sunday going? Sure. Cool? Yeah. So far so good. Yeah. Okay. So we we talked a little bit. I know you said you had like philanthropy. You was into the arts, you know, you do a lot in our community, which is, I commend, which a lot of people should commend and support. Thank so you, we could just tell, you know, everybody brief a little bit about yourself. Um, well, basically, my name is Shadi Bowman. Um, mm -hmm. born and raised in Baltimore. Okay, um, West, West Side, West Side, East Side, all over, Cherry Hill. Actually, I'm from Cherry Hill. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I was uh, raised over West. I lived in okay. the county for a while. I'm over okay. East now. Okay, so I okay. pretty much so live you from Baltimore, yeah, period. Yeah, Baltimore, okay. period. But from Cherry Hill, yeah. I can't so, forget about that. Real quick, before you finish, do you think that whole East Side West Side thing is overrated? It's like yeah, I really did. yeah. Because realistically, <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna say the wrong thing, yeah, but yeah. No, so realistically, it's it's, it's, it's the speech. same everywhere. That's it's the really same right. everywhere for real, for real. Yeah. So. Can't yeah. really say it's east or west. Yeah, and then I, I feel like personally, you know, this city not even like 45 minutes long if you're traveling through it. Right. So I feel like, you know, <laughs> the fact that we want to separate that is like, no, nah, it don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But continue about yourself, you know what I'm saying? From yeah. the city. Um, I paint. Um, I always sketch for real. I was okay. sketching since I was younger, but I started painting probably like four, probably like four or five years ago. All right, dope, dope, yeah, dope. Yeah. Um, I do graphics. I have a degree in visual communication. Okay, good. Congrats. So, for, for when? Um, from ITT before that shit closed down. So That's ITT the closed down? Yeah. Do you degree? Like, Do you just, like okay. is it is it valid like, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly don't. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I got some schooling up in there. I went to uh, I went to UB. Okay. Um, I finished sneaker school not too long ago. Oh wow! Um, okay, congrats. Oh, very accomplished. Very accomplished. Yeah, that was cool too. And I did the um, Practitioners Learners Institute down there at the Center okay, for right. Urban Families. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. I I've just graduated before. from that. Yeah. Congrats! Congrats! You got a lot so, under your belt. I appreciate. Yeah, that. like I like learning for real. For mm -hmm. real, it's only but so much you could teach yourself, and yeah. I don't mind going to school or taking time out to educate myself on what I'm trying to do. Absolutely. But That's um. Great. Yeah, I do graphics. I got um, the nonprofit, the Bowman mm -hmm. Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have a poetry book out. For real? Yeah, it's on Kindle oh, right now. Okay. Um, okay. I can, I'm going to give it to you, though. I'm going to send it to your email. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely. called Verbal Abortion, the Rebirth. Verbal Abortion, the yeah. Rebirth. It's really Check dope, and I'm not just saying that because I wrote it. But yeah. It's really dope. Like, it was yeah. a personal yeah. healing process, yeah. for real, That's for real. True. But, um... Yeah, I have a sneaker line. I took a year off of promoting that and stuff okay. to get more information um, about branding and okay. heck, actually how to curate and design and make the shoe and shit like That's that. That's very dope. Right. So I probably start promoting that again. Um, Probably the spring. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's probably good. the spring. So of all the few, of all the um, the accolades under your belt, which do you think you probably enjoy learning the most? Uh, ah. I don't know. I don't know because yeah. I'm really passionate about helping the youth in the community. For okay, real. that's important, especially um, in the city. Especially yeah, in the city. and my main focus is the African American youth. Absolutely. Um, yeah. the underprivileged ones, not the ones that got straight A's all the time, because yeah. you know you got the ones they they kind of not have it easier, but yeah. a lot of the issues yeah. is, is from self. It's not exactly. really because of their uh, circumstances. Right. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you know, I wanna. Go ahead and mm -hmm. try to uplift the underdog a little bit. Absolutely. So if you don't mind asking, um, if you don't mind me asking, like, are you your age? Like, you late 20s, early 30s? 33. 33, okay. So yeah. you've seen the different eras of Baltimore right. with the youth. Do you feel like right now in the last three, four years is probably as worse as it's ever been? 
Um, I would. I don't. I don't know if I would say worse because things have been happening for a while. Okay. I would say it's more at the forefront now. Okay. Okay. It's more at the forefront. It's not and things, anymore. Right. And things yeah. are publicized a lot. Like when we was growing up, it wasn't. It, it wasn't. Yeah. It couldn't. It couldn't have been. Yeah. Like we weren't that like, far yeah. gone with technology. Bro. I remember. You remember? Uh, it was maybe two thousand three when the um the la the lady uh the dude set that lady house on fire. For uh, for witnessing them selling drugs. No. Nah. This was over by um the dome over on um, on Eden Street, Eagle Street, which I was Eden Street, and um it was like a big thing because nobody really saw that. Like, and she had like four kids, Damn. and um yeah they they set her house on fire just for telling the police they was out there selling no, drugs. No, I didn't see that. And like you know some stuff like that, I feel like you know those things uh, lead you know to like other bills coming and other yeah. things where they maybe cracking down on drug deals or cracking yeah. down certain stuff when. You know, now it's just like, you know, with Murder, Inc. and certain stuff like that, which I'm actually thankful for because we get to see a lot of this stuff instead of waiting for the news. Yeah. Now the news kind of got to catch up to what's going on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it's weird. It's definitely it weird. Is, it is a lot going on. But now the kids really don't have a lot of guidance like that. It is people out here trying to help, Absolutely, though. Absolutely, yeah. But it's, it's trauma. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got to mm -hmm. get to the root of what they're actually going through. I used yeah. to teach art, right? Okay, I used right. to teach art up there in Dundalk at Halliburton Elementary. Okay, okay, okay. But, um, and substitute around here too, but okay. the art program closed down, right? Mm. After that, it was like, well, dang, what the kids are gonna do? Although it was out there, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. saying? A lot mm -hmm. of the same things was happening in the city. Mm -hmm. But, just a talking, is, is it like a money issue, funding issue? Um, for certain schools, yeah. Okay. For certain okay. areas. Yeah. And, but, I, and I think being being a, a part of it, because I graduated from Beach OC like a couple years ago, and I was in this program called the 4A program. Mm -hmm. It was specifically for African-American males to graduate community college because of just the statistic. Right. But uh, they had pressure on the program saying if a certain amount of guys didn't graduate, they would shut the program down. Mm -hmm. And I think me graduating, I was like the last class to graduate from that program. Damn, they they shut program it down. No nope. The dude who ran it, he went to go run year up, and everybody else is kind of like counselors that just moved on. Dang. You know what I'm saying? should have put a little more evidence to it. It probably would have yeah. been effective. And, and it's just like, you know, like, the purpose of these programs are always important, but it just seemed like if it's not benefiting the government, the the, right. the big dogs, then, you know, it gets shut down. And that's is. not, you know, we can't we can't teach the youth that we you can only help each other on the merit of money. Right. On the merit of just, you know, if this applies to a narrative or not. Yeah. Like, these kids are gonna be help forever as long as yeah, you know for real, for real. these conditions are here. So, what's kind of like one of the first, <laughs> one of the uh, first, I guess, moves you made as far as getting your brand out there, getting who you are out there? Um. Well, really, I still don't even put myself out there a lot. Yeah, yeah okay. Like, okay. but yeah. um, I'm not like a people person. I'm very introverted for real. But <laughs> I connect well with artsy, artsy. Okay, people. cool. I'm glad um, you connect with me. I'm glad. Right, connect. right. <laughs> I do remember you though from down at the gallery. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. I came in contact with you before. Appreciate it. That's um, right. But yeah, it popped. I say the art because I started doing um, art shows. Okay. Just like mending and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that was a way. Um, and writing for the magazine. Okay. Free magazine. So I did a lot of write ups on local artists in Baltimore. Oh, great. Dope, dope, dope. Um, with Self Made Magazine for a while. Self Made Magazine. Okay, yeah. And then Urban Freedom. Freedom. You heard that. Yeah, Shout Mercedes. Yeah. The, the big love yep. Mercedes. And it's a it's an event coming up too. Oh, I um, Mercedes, I need that invite. Yeah. What's popping? It's on a, it's on November the thirtieth down there at the Impact Hub. Oh, that one might be out of town. All right, you got me, Mercedes. You got me. I'm gonna show <laughs> I'm gonna show, 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 show some love. But yeah, okay. Yeah. So okay, um so what so do you feel like um what does art do for you as far as creating, as far as teaching it? What does it do for you personally? helps me release my anxiety yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah that's pretty much it mm -hmm. it's pretty much it honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't really have you don't gotta no have well it's no just it answer. just helps it helps me and <laughs> hopefully it. somebody else like it too absolutely that's how it's supposed to be that's yeah. how it's supposed to be so while we on that subject because I, I actually deal with it as well i go to you know counseling stuff for anxiety and, mm -hmm. and depression and stuff and I, i've dealt with it good i've dealt with it by learning myself and learning my self-value and work right this this uh this summer walker thing is kind of like it's a social media thing and i try to look past it to see what it is yeah. if you've done any like if you've done any you know if you looked into it any have you and if you have how do you feel about it um <clears throat> 
I think it was brave of her. Mm -hmm. And and certain people will understand what she's going through. Like, if you're really big on energies and stuff like that, I get where she's coming from. Because... I'm, I I write poems, you feel me? But mm-hmm. I don't perform because of that same exact reason. Okay, okay, you know what okay. I mean? Because it's too too much yeah. going on around me to perform. Granted, I've done it before, but I almost shed it myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, absolutely, I, it's absolutely. not it's not for everybody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's re- it's really not. And I I think she's brave to even come forward with yeah. the spotlight that she's in there, especially yeah. with her, her album going. Yeah, and yeah. it's like damn, well she's going through. But at the same time, it makes her more relatable. Absolutely. So, it does. It does. so a lot of people are backing her where you do have people that's like, oh, she been dramatic. She can yeah. do all these videos, yeah. but she can't stand in front of... I think of- a fan made a post. I think it's the crazy. fan who uh, did the meet and greet had made a post about how Summer Walker won a certain amount of distance from her and stuff. You know, I just think, you know, there's an entitlement in this business. Right. Because you got to deal with the fan. You got to deal with all these different people that's pulling at you. But, you know, the artist is the reason why a lot of these things are going, what they yeah. create. And I feel like there's no real safe haven safe haven mentally for artists and that not even just music you know it's yeah. just kind of like okay i'm out there and once i'm out there i'm a product yeah i'm not really still who i am i'm a product i'm a representation of a product we're still trying to keep yourself grounded mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's definitely yeah so what is some is there anything besides art you do that can that maybe can that you deal with the ease your anxiety or that you kind of relax or you know honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. um i smoke yeah, like okay. I smoke. I I really like to listen to um, opera sometimes. Wow. My homegirl okay. just put me on with um, a guy named Tito. Tito, like no, Cuban know. guy. He's okay. instrumental. So I I haven't heard of him, um, but once before, and she like been sending me songs. So he's pretty good. Sometimes I don't need words. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I like to drive around and listen to my music and like smoke. Mm-hmm. You know, even though I could do it in a house, of course. It's, but it's, it's I like to be out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like to be in a closed space, especially since just... it's legalized. So don't you know? Don't try to come for <laughs> Charlie getting money. She doing she gotta do. <laughs> so Off the record. Ask you, ask you, ask you. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Um, when it came to writing your poetry book, mm-hmm. how did um? When did you make the decision? And you know, well, actually, I've been writing for a while, right. but. You know how you kind of like finding yourself at one yeah, point. You so I was, it out. Yeah, I was just trying to figure me out, figure out what I wanted to do. How am I going to put what I'm feeling out there? Mm-hmm. Because I didn't know how I was going to, well, at the time, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I didn't know how I was going to show that I did graphics, poetry, right. and that I, you know, painted. Right. So what I did was, um, and it was like in 2014. Okay. So I took some poems. Mm hmm. Um, I took a few paintings that I did mm. and put it in a book. Mm. And of course, I told everybody, yeah, I designed the cover and did the stuff on the inside. So it was like, oh, you do graphics? Mm-hmm. Hey, you do that. Mm-hmm. So that was actually cool. But to me, that was kind of like a trial and error type. Yeah, thing. okay. Because okay. I really didn't. A lot of the stuff is self taught through reading and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But mm-hmm. I really had no idea what I was doing. Right. So right. I kind of studied a little bit more. I have a new appreciation for people that self-published it. Absolutely. Okay. So. Okay. So for, um, for for someone that wants to publish their own book, what, what advice can you give them? Like, what knowledge can you give them? Um, do a little bit of research. Okay. For real. Because that's what I didn't do at mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I, I want to put something out there. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I was trying to make money as well. See, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I was like, I need some residual when you working and you working and you yeah, living yeah, alone. Yeah. You're like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all have to do my art and I'm broke. Like, bills, yeah. Bro. Like, it was crazy. But um, just do a little bit of research. And okay. there's really a lot of people on the Baltimore like art scene that will help. Okay. Like I get people advice all the time. I don't never mind. Of course, I don't mind. Of course. That's good. That's um good. but if you got iPhone you could use um pages. Pages, okay. Yes. Okay. I did my second book on pages. On yeah. Go okay. Go ahead. Um you can do everything from your phone now, which is really? which is really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> which is really interesting. Yeah. Um and Kindle, you can do Kindle publishing. Okay. Okay. So Okay. Cause I, I definitely been like having ideas to just like Right in the memoir of certain points in my life, maybe mm-hmm. up until this part, because I talked to a few people just in ideas, and you know, people say, you know, once you get to your big peak and this big moment, and I'm like, man, I don't even know if my life is guaranteed to be that long. Right. And I feel like, you know, we all have unique experiences growing up here, growing up wherever, and I feel like we need to share those experiences. Yeah, now, yeah, there's a person coming after us that may need some answers, and we may have some answers. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? We may have a perspective that they can appreciate that may, they may not get from their parents. And, and then why wait, though? Like, no. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Because you, you should really celebrate every accomplishment, every little milestone. So if mm -hmm. you keep waiting till, oh, I think I'm going to get here. <laughs> but if you don't get, like you said, what mm -hmm. if you don't get there? It's like, yeah. damn, I shouldn't have wasted that time. Yeah. So you should put something together if that's what you want to do. Yeah. So right now, what do you have cooking right now? Um, Really nothing much. Mm -hmm. just <laughs> I'm just chilling. sizzling just chilling. and yeah, yeah, yeah. just trying to figure out what I should do next. But I am promoting the book. The book, okay. okay yeah, okay. and I'm, um, I'm actually trying to get the program in a few schools over in West Baltimore. Okay. With okay. the nonprofit. Okay, okay. So, um... What I do is work with high school students mm -hmm. who like to pursue their career mm -hmm. in um, arts, mm -hmm. whether it's photography or painting, yeah, yeah, anything absolutely. like that. Um, and I want to kind of like set up 30-day crash courses mm -hmm. for them so they can get the knowledge they need yeah, and yeah. just on the actual subject. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um Helping them with their fast for taking them on college tours yeah, and stuff yeah, like that yeah. so they can... Um, Get more of a feel. Get them out of the environment a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. Um, do you feel that like, um, do you, uh, when you talk to any youth, just go, do you, mm -hmm. like, stress to them about travel? Because I, 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 only reason I say this is because, like, last time I went on vacation was probably, like, last year. But mm -hmm. I just came back from a cruise. Mm -hmm. And it was an eight-day cruise, Bahamas, all this stuff. And it was so relaxing. Yeah. I got to reflect. I got to literally, you know, I worked out a little bit. But I was able to just to really just think about life. And be a little bit gone from certain things I was doing on the day to day, and it made me come back and appreciate stuff. And I figured, like, man, like I understood why Mom Dukes or maybe a, a homegirl or certain people that travel a lot be like, nah, bro, you gotta travel. You gotta, yeah. you can't be, I know you wanna work, you can be, you know, woo woo, -woo forever, but you gotta, you gotta take that break, that right. mental break, you know what I'm saying? And how, how, how is it important for the youth now? to see that and understand about travel. Well, it is important, but I don't really, I honestly don't tell them that much about travel unless I'm telling them my own personal experience. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I I try to stress entrepreneurship. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, but I should tell them more about why yeah, yeah, they yeah. should travel. Yeah. But no, I actually don't. Yeah. Which I do, I think they should travel. Yeah. Because it, does, it did give me a new appreciation for certain cultures mm -hmm. and how different artists do things in other states and yeah. stuff like that. So it, is, it definitely is something that and that I feel I that, that's interview. important too. I, I don't, I don't know if they still if they stress entrepreneurship in high school because they didn't with us. I, right. I went to Northwestern and I went to City the rest of my uh, the last three years of high school mm -hmm. and like it was college, college, college. Right. college. So where you kind of thinking like, okay, that's the way, and then your parents kind of stressing that, but you kind of go through life and you figuring out what you want to do, and college has a, a role in it, but it's mm -hmm. not going to be your your end all be all. Right. So, but you have degrees which you have certification on their belt so it's literally important just to learn as much as you can yeah because it don't really have to be for your college you could take a mm -hmm. nine-month program yeah. who's to say that's not all that you need that's for that point mean. in your life yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so granted i give them our scholarships but mm -hmm. i do stress the fact that you need to further your education in some sort of way. It don't have Absolutely. to be a four-year college, mm -hmm. but you have to educate yourself on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. And self-education is good, mm -hmm. but we don't know everything. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So Absolutely. That's very true. One last question. Um, you know, we're just mainly keeping this about the youth because that's mm -hmm. the most important part. Um, do you feel like a lot of the youth are, are struggling with self-worth? A little bit. Yeah. Only because of was what they see now. Mm -hmm. Everything is really publicized. Um, they're not really shedding light on anything good right, right now. That's per that's my personal opinion. Absolutely, absolutely. Because everything is oh somebody got killed, somebody mm -hmm. got you know jail time, somebody robbed, somebody did somebody, and it's really what I feel like they need to do is highlight some of the people on the ground in, mm -hmm. in, in the mm -hmm. city and be like, yo, you know, you're living over West, but mm -hmm. look what you're doing over here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is really no positive role models being publicized out yeah. here. And there really are some good people out yeah, here. Yeah, definitely is. So, definitely is. Yeah. everybody, check out Rise With Freeze on YouTube. Yeah. Make sure you link in, follow them on anything that you got. You dig? Much love. <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I've made it so far with just advice that I've gotten. You know, I've, I've took a talk on dough before and learned about Pan-Africanism since I was like age 10. Right. So like 10 through 16. And uh, my Wali, well, that's why I so I for teacher. He gave me so much game about just being a man that you should be. Right. And not falling to 
societal pressures and stuff like that. Figure out who you are. And I've had mentors that helped me and stuff. And, and a lot of, you know, a lot of times you got to step out of your own pride. Because right. a lot of times we just want to kick it with our friends. We just yeah. want to do whatever. <laughs> but it's different when you got big homies and OGs. And yeah. I try to be like that now for a lot of my, my younger homeboys or youngest I may see on the street, you know. And I, you know, just try to give them a little game and you know, even if it's I'm this white boy at my job, like he's twenty, but I just gave him some game, not because I wanted to. It's just how I regularly would converse with someone right. younger than me. Because it's like, listen, you got like you got life ahead of you, but in the same sense, you kind of don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta just you can't, what you gotta do. Can't even really expect to live yeah. your, to your full potential. Like yeah. it's crazy. Everything is so rushed now. Mm -hmm. Like let me hurry up and do this, do that, do yeah. that. Yeah. So shout out, definitely appreciate you having. Thank we definitely you gonna link and do me. some stuff. Just plug any anything you want people to know right now. What's um, going on? Everything. Uh, you can follow my IG at mm -hmm. s dot bowman s dot b o w m a n. Mm -hmm. Um. And you could definitely check out My Verbal Abortion, The Rebirth on Kindle. I love that title. Thank you. I love that Thank title. You. That Getting out fire. all the bullshit <laughs> <laughs> so that you can heal. That's mm -hmm. what it's about. That's what it is. Just healing and self-preservation and stuff That's like that. So. You know, rise with Freeze, you know what I'm saying? We out here. More content coming soon. Thank you, Shawty, one more time. Thank you. Much love. Yeah.